Hi everyone out there in Horn Hangout land. I hope you're appreciating my t-shirt, especially the trumpet players who are watching because I put it on especially for you and especially for my guest today. I'm really happy and honored to have Gabor <laughs> Takabi and one of my favorite colleagues and most admired colleagues with us. Gabor, uh, good t-shirt. It's a very nice t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everyone. We have so many people watching from incredible places. Iraq, uh, Damascus, Norway, Greece, Las Vegas, Australia, Hong Kong. I love this globalism. It's, it's incredible. But we've got to warn you about something. Gabor's English... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody. But my English is not so fine. So I talk English and uh, the, the long things of German. Sorry. We, it's no problem. I will try and uh, uh, I will try and uh, translate as best I can. And uh, Gabo, he understands what I'm saying, but uh, but he will. I mean, you speak German, English, whatever you want, or you play your trumpet for an hour. Yeah, that is alcohol. When I cannot talk, then I play. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome. Um, there's people from all over the place. Midori just joined us from Tokyo. Hi to Sarah and Gabor. Um, love the t-shirt. Thank you, Keith, Kevin, um, Taiwan, uh, George Nakatsi. He's a, um, a trumpet player in Syria. He's oh, watching. So oh. yeah, so a lot of people <laughs> out there. Write in and tell us where you're where you're watching from. And the other thing you can do is if you tweet using the hashtag Horn Hangouts then it'll all appear on our Twitter feed and Gabor will get to see it all afterwards. So take a selfie of you in front of the... Hey, what did you think of our pumpkin, by the way? It's, it's Halloween soon, so yeah. Does it look like him? Look, I thought the hair was quite similar. <laughs> 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 okay, Gabor, wir fangen an. Okay. We, we begin. We'd be a okay. little bit serious at the beginning. Okay. A little bit? Yeah, yeah. This is a very global affair, this, this Horn Hangout, and um, we wanted to start with some people that wanted to say hello to you. And uh, oh. I have, no, no, that, that was my iTunes. <laughs> that was my movie I was watching last night. And um, I think Gabor is very well, well respected all around the world. He does, you do a lot of master classes? Yeah, I teach a lot of master classes in, in, in Japan and also in, in Europe and, and, and in, in English? the US. In English, <laughs> I have on YouTube uh, three uh, three short parts from my master classes from from Carnegie Hall. And sorry for my English. No, oh, uh, don't. I hope my playing is better. <laughs> my name. <laughs> Tell me one thing quickly. Your name to pronounce in Hungarian is hard because you have a, a line and a dot and a. Yeah, it's, it's Torkovi Gabor. Torkovi Gabor. Torkovi Gabor. Why do all the Hungarians put the last name first? Um, das ist äh, das ist ein alter Gebrauch und äh, die Japaner machen das auch so. Ah, it's tradition and apparently in J Japan they do it as well. Okay, but Gabor, you have many fans around the world, and a few of your fans have got together to send you greetings. So first of oh. all, we have a greeting from Spain from the Brass Academy Alicante, and Jakob is going to play it right now. <laughs> Das noch mal. Danke, danke schön. <lacht> Gracias. <lacht> Gracias. 
that. Okay, they are saying they are saying for you. Um, they want uh, in in German. They said uh, from the Brass Academy Alicante, where you teach, yeah. you do a master class in February. No, in um, April. In April. April. And they said they send you a, a, a fuerte abrazo, a big hug, a große Umarmung. Ah. Und für mich, ich krieg ein gran beso, a big kiss, oh. a big kiss. <laughs> so um, you are there in in uh, in April. Yeah. And um, also there was another class for very close that wanted to say hello too, and they are from Hamburg. So if you guys just a little ah. bit more trumpet music, and here we go. <laughs> Matthias, <lacht> thank you. Äh, ich bin sehr überrascht und vielen, vielen Dank für, für diese netten, netten Fanfare und für die Studenten. <lacht> yeah, thanks guys. That was of course the, the famous Matthias Hörfs from German Brass and, and his trumpet class in, in Hannover, uh, Hamburg. And thank you for doing that to, to Rudi Anuri and to Matthias. Thank you for organizing that. But you see, all around the world, people appreciate Gabor. You teach everywhere. Gabor, tell me, um, you can tell me in German, I'll translate for you. You teach everywhere. What are the main challenges that trumpet students have these days, in your opinion? You helped, you helped. Uh, <coughs> also for me, uh, persönlich, is is ganz ganz wichtig, das tägliche das tägliche Übung, <laughs> dass ich immer immer dran bleibe und immer um mein Ton mich bemühe, um um mein um meine Artikulation, um die Intervalle bekommen. Wait, <laughs> I'm not a professor. In, in, in addition to doing the questions and the hangout and the thing, I now have to be translator as well. So, um, uh, Gabor just said the most important thing for him, for him as a his, as a person, is to um, is to be this daily, this daily, the daily program. And and do you think that the students? Do you help the students to create this daily program? Do you do you just show them what you do? Was sagst du was du machst oder? Ja, so es ist uh, für für jede. Ein bisschen anders. So wie for everybody it's different. Ja, für, für, wie wir alle verschieden sind, muss das auch nicht gleich sein. Okay. Ich habe mein Programm aufgebaut, was, äh, was mit Kant, sehr viel Kantilenen beinhaltet. Okay. Um, his program is full of a lot of Kantilene. Why? For the air or for the sound? For the air and the, for the sound. For the sound, okay. And uh, I have intervals. Uh, in I heard program. some of your intervals. It was, woo, 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 woo. show me. You know that <laughs> yeah, one, the crazy one. So, it sounds, das ist so, so, it sounds so easy. <laughs> das ist der the beginning from, from the intervals training. Das ist for, uh, for me the importance and I play every day maybe 40 50 minutes warm ups. And Aren't you then tired? If I did 40, 40 minute warm ups, I'd be tired. <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, after 10 minutes, I was warm. Yeah. But I play the daily, uh, uh, daily exercises okay. for, for, yeah. uh, for me. Yeah. So before the, the rehearsal with uh, Berlin Field, I play from, from 9 to 9.50. 
And then uh, I have 10 minutes less, coffee, and then coffee? I have to rehearse. Coffee? Really? You drink coffee? No, no, I drink <laughs> tea. Tea. And in the last time, I can't drink coffee, and I have noticed. No. But, but for 20 years, I have yeah. for coffee. But but no, it's, it's, it's okay. You're getting old. But, <laughs> but maybe the coffee is not so strong. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. You go to Italy, and I find it. Italy yeah, yeah, Italy, Italy. Italy coffee is a dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you do you do your interval training and you do your warm up for, for fifty minutes. But tell me, when you're talking to the students, do they all want to know what you do? Do they, do you have to give them your program? Do you sit and warm up for them? Yeah, with my students in the academy, I play one or two times main programs, and uh, then I see is my program good for the students or or not. But not then as it's not uh, how do you see if it's good? Do they sleep? Do they are they too it, difficult? Or? Yeah, when when the ambassador is a little more uh, too strong, yeah. uh, fast, what is fast? Uh, uh, too, too too tight, too too too, too tight. Yeah, I can't speak English anymore. <laughs> um, the embouchure is too too tight, too yeah. too then is the program not good. Uh, okay. as it's uh, important that you have a relaxed feeling in the warm ups. But I find that's usually done by the air in the warm-ups. Yeah. yeah. So I think 90% of the trumpet playing is air. Yeah. When you have a good uh, pressure of the air, then you have not so many problems with the ambassador. We say and the same <laughs> for the horns. It's very yeah. true. When you have uh, not so good, good, good air, uh, or not so optimal, yeah. then you have problems here and you press and, and you close also. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> This is uh, for me important, so every day is checking. Do you sometimes look in a mirror or are you not a mirror practicer, you're a sound practicer? Uh, I, I practice with, with mirror before 20 years when yeah. I, I, I study in the in high school. Then I look uh, every day, two or three times for, for the ambassador. No, not not, uh, not so much. Not so much. I don't like to look, and I think, hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is for me not so interesting. <laughs> yeah, the guys aren't as vain as us <laughs> girls. Um, Christopher Emmanuel, I don't know where you're watching from, but thank you for your question. He says, what is your secret to smooth playing in general, and especially through the registers? Has verstanden, was ist dein Geheimnis für, für, für glatte Spielen durch die ganze Register? Du hast gerade gesagt, Luft. So, ich... ich I play mich uh, I, I play for for first time in the morning a little bit with man's piece and I uh, I concentrate it off the air mm -hmm. <sighs> and then when I play the trumpet I play not so loud I play maybe mezzo piano Concentrated I can, of the yeah. I can hear all the trumpet players watching, <laughs> going, "Oh God, it just sounds so beautiful." It, but I really think it's it's how you use your air. Yeah, this is the the same feeling when when you're singing, oh, 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 oh. and you play the the same. Oli in the UK, who's actually a horn player, ah. he he said, "What exercises do you do to keep the air flowing in the high register?" It's the same maybe for us horns. So gonna, this is going to be a free lesson today. The, yeah, <laughs> but you but you get a pumpkin. <laughs> I pay you a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. So in the high register we have uh, that's a clear touch. In in middle register, haben wir eine Zungenstellung, was ungefähr ein A sagt. Ta, in the ta. middle register, the trumpets have a, a tongue position which says A, right? Yeah. Ta. Okay. In the ta, middle register. Ta, ta. Wow. And the the op uh, the 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 vocabel in the high register is about e. The vowel is in the high register is an e. The an zunge e ended sich ein bisschen e. E da wie e. Ti 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 ti. Wow. Okay. And okay. when you play um, less and slower and slower, you put it also a little with the with the tongue. Okay. Mm -hmm. You talk to. To. Eh? It's, it's I'm going to try this on the horn. Everybody together? 
You can't talk here in you, this, Aha, you, you've, got, you've got them all here. Hello, this is the Galbor cam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Galbor cam. So tu uh, uh, Okay. Um, in South Africa, Laura has said greetings, and Lee in Maine, hi mm -hmm. Lee, has said such a lovely sound. Oh. <laughs> so you see, everybody is watching and everybody is, is asking questions. It's fantastic. Um, uh -huh. So, but this this you do. A lot of people uh, have commented, also sent me questions before, and said, you know, he's so concentrated when you see him on the digital concert hall. And but it's it's a it's a lot of hard work. You, I think Gabor is actually one of the people I see the most here in the Philharmonie. He's always here an hour before. You you on tour. If you have a room next to Gabor on tour, which I very often <laughs> have had, forget having an afternoon sleep. <laughs> <laughs> because because you put a lot of hard work into it. It's important to tell the students as well. I think that just how much is uh, um, uh, how much do you practice? I know it's a silly yeah, question, but much hour. Maybe uh, the warm ups and then daily practice maybe one hour, and then when uh, when I uh, play in orchestra, then I have two times two half hours rehearsal, yeah. and then after the second rehearsal. I play maybe, yeah, that's the uh, other thing. He doesn't go home after the second rehearsal. We're all off, and Gabor <laughs> stays here. And you, play. yeah, maybe thirty minutes relaxed. Yeah. When we play big Mahler symphony or Strauss pieces, um, then it's very important after the second rehearsal relaxed. Then you have more chance next day of a nice sound. <laughs> <laughs> and not a hurting lip. Yeah. Um, uh, Kendall Gray, hi Kendall. He watches. Oh, he's a big Horn Hangout um, supporter. He says watching you play like on the digital concert hall, you always seem so incredibly focused, no distractions. <laughs> Did you work to develop this or how, how do you, how do you, it's true, when you play, du bist, wenn du spielst, du bist unglaublich fokussiert und lässt du dich irgendwie ablenken von, von Ja, außen. das ist ein, äh, ein sehr wichtiger Teil, weil wir so viel mit Kamera spielen nicht auf die Kameras sich konzentrieren it's und very, sich nicht ablenken it's lassen. It's very important. I think we all had to learn this. Gabor was saying um, since we started working with the cameras in the digital concert hall, um, we had we had to learn not to let let them distract us. Wir wissen, sie sind da und wir sind äh, sehr, sehr oft jetzt äh, durch digital concert hall dann live yeah. zu sehen im Internet. We aber, know that they're there and we know that we're live, but aber man, man muss das lernen zu, zu vergessen und man muss das auch lernen, damit zu, zu, zu spielen können. You have to learn to forget it and you have to learn how to, how to live with it. But how? Wie, wie hast du das geschafft? Ich, ich versuche... Dich in Yoga, das kann ich mir irgendwie nicht vorstellen. Gabor doing yoga, I'm not quite sure. Uh, if I nein, can. Ich, ich, ich mache kein Yoga, aber ich versuche im, im Konzert in meine Noten zu schauen und das alles ein bisschen vereinfachen. Also für mich sind nur die Noten, die Musik, die ich, die ich äh, am meisten mag, <lacht> was ich spiele. This is a really good thing he said while during the concert he um, Gabor is uh, is uh, tries to be just in his music and uh, concentrate on the music and tries to make everything a little bit more simple so that it's not a big a big deal drumherum you don't think of oh, all these people and all these people watching. Ja, wenn ich äh wenn ich jeden mal, jedes Mal denken würde, meine ganze Familie guckt das und meine Mutter guckt das im Ungarn, ich würde mehr nervös sein. Yeah, yeah. Und das ist nicht nötig. Ja, yeah, think, if he thinks all his family are watching in Hungary, then, uh, <laughs> then uh, he would get even more nervous. So it's better not to think that. Is your family watching now? Uh, ich glaube, mein, meine Frau und die Söhne von mir. Johanna und Jungs. <laughs> und Hello. Adam und Martin gucken. Hallo. <laughs> Schreib mal, write us, write us. Um, yeah, so it's important to build up a little barrier, I think. I'm ja, a barrier. und was sehr wichtig ist, ist die Chemie mit, die, mit meiner Gruppe. Ja. Also wenn, wenn wir größere Symphonien spielen, wo alle was zu schwer zu tun haben, und es ist, es ist schön, wenn wir zusammen konzentrieren, wenn wir das Gefühl haben, wir gehören zusammen und, und wir... Machen was, wir machen das so gut, wie wir es gerade können. I totally agree with that. Gabo says a very important for him is this team feeling, this feeling of being with his section and everybody concentrating and being the best section they can possibly be in that moment. Um, and I totally agree because that the moments when I feel that in my horn section is the moment you feel like you're flying, you know, teamwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> es, right. ist, uh, es ist sehr, sehr wichtig. Yeah. Ich glaube, das ist im Orchester ein das Wichtigste. 
Sehr wichtig. One of the most important things you have in your orchestra. So I have a couple more questions. One from Michael. Michael van El, she says, how many years do you already play in the amazing Berlin Phil and how was your audition and your Pobia, your test year? Oh. 2004. 2004. <laughs> I played the audition uh, 2003, uh, December 12th. And I beginning to playing uh, 1st February 2004. But I play one year together with Bavarian Radio. That's right. You, you had to, I remember you were going back to the Bavarian Radio and yeah. coming to us, so you actually were playing the whole time. Yeah, I playing one year long uh, all the drops. weeks. Oh. But I have not the bad feeling from the Proba Yeah, from the trial. But I have a job in Munich. Yeah. So for me it was important to play in, in Berlin. But uh, I have uh, also in this time a family with, with two children. And... Uh, it was difficult, huh? Yeah. And I have good programs, and uh, and the colleagues müssen dann nach ein Jahr, oh, Gott sei Dank, <laughs> dass sie dazu passen würde und haben abgestimmt. The, the 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 deal in the Berlin Phil is usually two years on trial, but because Gabor was going backwards and forwards between the Bavarian radio and the and the Berlin Phil. Um, the trumpet section here were actually very kind to him and said after one year they didn't want him to do it anymore. They would vote after one year, and yeah. and you got in. <laughs> Ich habe in meinem Probenjahr äh, wichtige Stücke spielen dürfen, wie, wie sechster Maler, fünfter Maler, ja. äh, elfter Schostakowitsch. Also viele Stücke, wo man äh, das ziemlich schnell herausfinden kann, ob das jemand kann oder nicht. He had a lot of the big pieces in his, in his trial year ja. and, and you hear it pretty soon. I remember I was in the orchestra, you, you, you played everything ja. that there is difficult. We've had a message from Tobias from across the, across the road at the digital, at the Berlin Film Media office. Oh. Hi Tobias, thank you for watching, <laughs> Tobias Miller. And he asked, do you ever check your performances in the digital concert hall archive? It's a very good question. Guckst du ja, manchmal? Ja. Ja, die, die wichtigsten Dinge gucke ich. Okay. Ich gucke das sowieso, ob das alles in Ordnung ist im Archiv. <laughs> Gabor checks it to make sure everything's okay in the archive. Okay, that's, that, that's good to ja, know. Ja, aber es ist ein wahnsinnige... Also, <coughs> abgesehen von dem Stress, was wir dazu bekommen haben mit der DCH. Äh, man gewöhnt sich dran. Und, äh, aber äh, es ist eine wahnsinnige Chance zu lernen. Man kann sich beobachten und, und man kann eigentlich äh, wahnsinnig viel von seinen Fehlern lernen. Und um, das ist der, eigentlich das Beste. Yeah. Gab was just saying that he, um, he does check his things and it's a great way to learn and to see, see what you can do better um, if you're watching your, your own performances. The problem I find that sometimes when I watch a digital concert hall, I get nervous because I think, oh, sometimes when you think you're just playing along and you realize, oh, and, <laughs> and it's so it's so exact and you see everything. Sometimes my mother um, writes me a text in the interval and says, uh, Sarah, brush your hair at the back or something, you know, it's just like <laughs> things that have nothing to do with the music. That's what no, it, doesn't, it doesn't happen to Gabor. <laughs> By the way, thinking of your hair, don't you think that this... This this looks like your hair. Oh ah, yeah. I think it looks like your hair. Yeah. Könnte sein. Yeah. It's a little. Also, und die Zähne muss ich noch reinschneiden. Wir sprechen nicht mehr lange von Haaren, weil es werden immer weniger. Okay. All right. I'm not allowed to talk about hair anymore. He said. I'm not allowed to talk about hair. Um, so thank you for that question. Um, <laughs> where are we? Um, what a uh, Kai wants to know. Uh, he says you are one of my favorite trumpeters. What is your favorite thank solo you. or orchestra? Haydn Concerto. Okay. <laughs> also It's mit, mit Orchester als, als Solist. Whatever. Or Orchestra. Dein, dein Liebling Solo im Orchester? Oder was ist dein ich, Liebling Orchester? Ich, ich, ich mag ihn im Orchester All Mahler Symphonies. Or uh, Strauss Pieces. Uh, or Petrushka. Das ist nice. Yeah. Es, es, I love for, it. Yeah. And your favorite orchestra? Yeah, <laughs> Berlin. <laughs> but Berlin Phil, of course. But you actually, you, you studied in Hungary and you had a very close connection to Vienna and to Austria. Um, you're actually a, an official Austrian, um, not official, an unofficial Austrian. You have a lot of friends in Austria. You still play a lot. You have, you, you, you like the, the Austrian Yeah, well. uh, in this time when I beginning to play Probras, yeah. uh, I played together with Hans Gansch. Yeah. And Hans Gansch was a solo trumpet player uh, in this time, yeah. it was 94, in, uh, in Vienna Philharmonic, and he's a very, very great player. 
and I have the luck with uh, his to study and um, I study so a little the Vienna style with hands. Well, what's the difference Vienna style, Berlin style? I think the style is different. Well, uh, music Verein is different to Berlin Philharmonic. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> and music Verein is a very, uh, is not so big. Yeah. And you have a very good uh, acoustic. Yeah. So in, in Vienna, in a music Verein style, you can play very short. Hmm? And this is a sound. But when you play in Berlin Philharmonic, the same, so short, you heard nothing. Yeah. So this is what, this was a different. Yeah. But Hans was not really the Vienna style. Hans was a very, very good style and very musicality. And uh, I learned, uh, I hope I learned many things from, from, from Hans. You spend quite a lot of time in Austria. You, you play with Pro Brass and you have the quintet, the Berlin, Vie Wien, Vienna in quintet. Berlin. And, um, and also you have some very good friends that come from, um, from Austria and I think most of you will, will, will know um, this group once you see them. They have sent Gabor a greeting as well. Jakob? <laughs> Gábor, üdvözlet a Nocil Brass trombita sorától, meg ugye persze tőlünk is. Szia, puszi, szia! Hülye, horsomás! Köszönöm! Thomas! Szupa lív! És püldi a hajnak! Okay, now you have to translate. What did Sultan say? That was Nozil Brass, of course. Everybody knows him. What an honor to have a video from them. What did, what did he say? He said, hello, Gabor. Happy to, for your hangout. What was Thomas said? Solly said, bussy and kissing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and what did Thomas say? Thomas said, okay. was a blöder Posanist. Apparently, Thomas Gant at the end said, stupid trombone player, meaning Sultan, which of course he's not, but uh, fantastic. So, oh, thank you. <laughs> so that was a little surprise that we prepared for you. The other thing I forgot to say at the beginning, which is very, very important, is that this hangout is being sponsored by the people that make uh, Gabor's trumpets, Shargel, Shargel, and you play on only... Only Shargle trumpets, at least the rotary trumpets. Is that right? Thank you very much, boys, by the way, for um, <laughs> for sponsoring the Thank hangout. You. Fantastic. Tell us just a little bit about, about your connection with Shargo. Uh, dieser Kontakt geht zurück auf die Zeit, wo ich bei Hans studiert habe, uh, also Mitte der 90er Jahre, uh, wo wir mit Hans zusammen Kammermusik gemacht haben in, in Österreich. Vor die Konzerte sind wir sehr oft vorbeigefahren. The connection started when they were when he was studying with Hans Gansch in, in, in Vienna and um, and then you oh, sorry I forgot the rest. Uh, <laughs> Wir, wir haben immer äh, Zeit gehabt, ja, bei Zeit. der Werkstatt Aha. vorbeizufahren. Hier und Hans hatten Zeit, wenn sie zu den Werkstatten gehen, um zu probieren, ihre Instrumente zu probieren. Und äh, wir haben immer die Instrumente getestet und ich glaube, äh, erst mal 96 haben die, uns, äh, haben die Instrumente uns so gefallen, dass wir das angefangen haben zu spielen, auch Hans und ich. In 1996, uh, he and Hans both started to play on Shargal instruments once they'd been testing them and, and found, found one that they really liked. Und diese, diese Beziehung zu der Familie Shargal ist ein, ein, ein sehr guter Freundschaft geworden. Mm -hmm. und, äh, Became a very good friendship. Und ich spiele die äh, alle Rotary Trompets, äh, alle Drehventil Trompeten. All Gabor's Rotary Trumpets come from Shargal. Und ich äh, mache gerade ein... Also wir versuchen eine neue Serie zu machen, die Serie Berlin. Series, a Berlin Series of Trumpets, fantastic. Yeah, of, of, of the Rotary Trumpets. Why, why do you call it Berlin Series? Because you're all testing them? Or? Yeah, uh, Guillaume. A Guillaume as well? Guillaume, Guillaume. Yale, uh, and, and Florian also testing the trumpets. Yeah. And um, we try uh, one big series from the, C, uh, from the B flat, C trumpet, D trumpet, E flat trumpet, also Rotary, and Piccolo trumpet. Yeah. We try uh, making five trumpets yeah. in the Serie Berlin. 
but uh, we're working now. You're working now. <laughs> um, yes. And Shargle, I mean, I'm very happy because the ha horn hangouts have turned into a very expensive hobby. So I'm really grateful if someone wants to do some advertising on them and come and help us out because it's not just me and Gabor here today. We have we have Jakob who's doing all the video mixing. We have George behind the camera. We have Tim and Aidan in Melbourne. So it's, it's quite a big, big undertaking. So thank you to Shargle for that. Thank you very much. The other thing you are, um, you are doing with Shargle is you, you've created a, a set of, of masterclasses. This is something new. <coughs> yeah, this is uh, this is new. Also, ganz viele Leute uh, haben mich gefragt, ob ich uh, sowas machen möchte oder. Und dann uh, habe ich gedacht, wir machen das mit mit Schager zusammen. Sie haben ein sehr sehr gutes Kamerateam auch und und und, und sehr uh, gute Leute, die das können. A lot of, lot of people have asked Gabor um, if he could do some masterclasses in Shargal, organize it. They have a good camera team and good people yeah. are organizing it. So he's done a series, or what is it? It's just one video or a series? Es, es, ist eine, es ist das erste Video, was, was video. jetzt uh, in, ins Netz gestellt wird, bei Vimeo. When is it going to, when is it going to appear? Ich glaube, nächste Woche oder übernächste Woche. Well, it's going to appear next week, Gabor's new masterclass for trumpet. But, of course, on the Horn Hangouts, thanks to Shargal, <laughs> We have a little tiny excerpt of what you're going to be able to see on it. Here it comes. Sehr deutliche Artikulation. ganz gut zu üben mit Metronom. So that was a little preview of the new masterclass by Gar uh, Darko Vigarbor. <laughs> was that right? Thank you. Yeah. Um, Perfect. So you do lots of excerpts and you 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 were quite strict. Du warst ziemlich streng. Not too long. Not too <laughs> short. You were quite strict. Ja, uh, die die wichtige Sachen. Uh, es ist natürlich gar nicht so geworden, wie ich das wollte. Es ist viel zu streng. Ich weiß. He Aber says, I found, I, I thought Gabo was quite strict in it, and Gabo said, well, he's not really strict, <laughs> unless he's in a bad mood, then he'd be really strict. Um, Aber ich bin in meinem Studio gestanden, von morgens 10 bis nachmittag 5. He was in a studio from 10 till 5 in the afternoon, and um, at some point... Und habe sechs Stunden gespielt. He had to record for six hours, so I guess, Stellen. I guess at some point you get a little bit strict. Und es sind alle Stellen ohne Schnitt. Oh. Also, wenn ich ein Gigser gespielt habe, Müsste ich das neu Every excerpt was without a cut, so he, if he played a wrong note, then he had to start from the beginning again. Ooh. So, das war schwer. Und Ooh. am Schluss war ich immer mehr äh, <lacht> nicht zufrieden mit mir. Okay. Und dann habe ich die Texte aufgenommen. Oh, okay. Und natürlich äh, ist das nicht mehr so unglaublich. Yeah. Nett. Okay. It's, um, <lacht> at the very end of the day, he had to record the text, and he said by then he wasn't feeling very nice. So, but it's still very inspiring and good that Shargal is doing this. And in a week or so, we'll we'll post about it on the Horn Hangouts. Um, so uh, when when we know, I don't know if Shargal's watching right now. Hi boys, if you are, yeah. write us a link where people can watch it. Okay. Yeah. So let's get back to some more questions. Um, Ezekiel from Argentina. What time is it in Argentina? It's like it's morning five o'clock in the morning. It's very early. Yeah. Um, uh, he wants to know uh, when you play the trumpet. What is the feeling you think for the beginning of the sound? Was für, denkst du irgendwas oder was für ein Gefühl? Oder es geht eigentlich nur um die Luft. Ja, eigentlich, äh, also der the sound coming with the air together. Yeah. Yeah. When you singing, ah. Mm. I think not of the tongue, only of the air. Yeah. I, I think I agree. I think it's only the tongue, of, only of the air, not of the tongue. It's the same for all of us brass instruments at the uh, beginning. I have. Uh, oh, have you're going to draw me something. A, 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 a kleine, uh, you're going to get a little picture. Also, wie ich das oft erkläre, das ist natürlich sehr, sehr, äh, wie soll ich jetzt sagen, hand. sehr trocken. Ja. Huh? Yeah. Okay, zoom in, George, got that? Beginning of the note, you have 
a beautiful tea. The T coming H and A. H, also hier, yeah. ist, H uh, ist die Luft. H is the air. Und A hm, ist der Open, hm? ist der Position von, von your song. Okay, so A is the air and ta no, H. Wait, H is the air. Okay, and H is the and, direction. Und das alles kommt auf einen Schlag. Okay, all, all this comes together. Ta comes yeah. up one. In the high the same. It's the same. T H. And here hinten is E. e. T H I I I T. Okay. Show us yeah. again. <laughs> Just because I like your high notes. <laughs> wow. Mm. I think they're probably Jakob. <laughs> and in the deep register you have U. And in the low register you have so, U. So, das ist jetzt sehr sehr trocken geschrieben. Two. So T for high, ta for the middle, and O oh, in the, in the low register. register. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sell this on eBay. I think uh, <laughs> a little bit of Berlin fill. I uh, think here. Okay. Okay. Aber es ist wichtig, wenn wir einen Ton anfangen, dass die Luft und die Zunge alle zusammen sind. Wenn wenn die Luft nicht da ist, dann ist sie auf Ah. It's important when you start a note that the, that the tongue and the air work together because if you start the tongue without the air behind it, then it just goes uh, Or if you go uh, Yeah, and oder wenn die Zunge nicht da ist, dann hast du uh, yeah. Also yeah. die Zunge ist wichtig für einen sehr, sehr pünktlichen Anfang, yeah. Yeah. aber eigentlich ist die, die, die Luft die wichtigste. Okay, air is the most important. I think that's the main thing that, that I, I'm really happy you keep saying that because it's very true. Um, I have a little question. Um, about girls, Ooh. yeah, I told you, fear the French <laughs> horns, fear the French horns. Veronica says there are more and more brilliant French horn players in the world who are females, but why are there still no so many ladies in the trumpet section? Is this still a masculine world? Is this not a sehr masculine Welt? Eigentlich ändert sich das. Die Trompetenwelt? Yeah. Ich glaube nicht. Wir haben zwei Solisten, die die anderen spielen, uh, Alison Balson und uh, Tina yeah. yeah, he's just saying things have really changed. We have two top soloists, die, Tina and, and Alison. Die wirklich sehr viel spielen und sehr gut spielen. But orchestra world, I think he means, uh, she means, Veronica. Auch in, uh, in Orchester. It's, cha it's changing. I, I, fi I find in Scandinavia it's really changed, yeah. in America as well. And also in the academy, you have just... Yeah, we have uh, uh, my uh, student, Noemi Markus. She is now uh, with, with uh, she study now with uh, Reinhold Friedrich, but she was in the academy. And also, she was yeah. a girl, and now is Cecil. Yeah. Um, study with Tamas, also a girl. Yeah. Also so a girl. it's just See? not so masculine. Girl. Things are changing. We have another girl I want to say hello to. Lila Nee in New York. Lila Nee is third horn of the New York Philharmonic, and she's watching and warming up in the brass room. So oh. hi to New York Phil. <laughs> hi Lila hey. Nee. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, Anton in Berlin, wie oft hast du schon das zweite Brandenburgische gespielt? How often have you played second uh, Brandenburg concerto? Never. Never? <laughs> es ist, äh, zweite Brandenburgische ist, ist, ist eigentlich nichts für mich. Gabor has just said, live on the Horn Hangouts, that the second Brandenburg concerto is not a piece for him. Why? The, the technique for, for, for this piece is, is very different from the orchestra playing. But you play solo concertos all around I play the world. solo concertos, but not so high. Not so high. <laughs> it is two notes too high for me. Okay. And uh, for this, I can maybe practice six months, but then I have in the middle register not nice sound. But it, I'm going to ask a really stupid horn player question. What happens? Can't you take a piccolo trumpet or a higher trumpet? Yeah, horn? piccolo trumpet. But as is piccolo trumpet. Uh, is also the piccolo trumpet sound is different and the technique that man dazu benutzt is was anderes was man im orchestra hey, Gabo says that he he needs a different technique to play brandenburg too than to play in the orchestra and then his sound he doesn't like his sound well that's fair enough i think we don't have to play every piece so that that's a good a good question anton very good question um more questions 
Is that okay? No, no, no it's okay. Yeah? okay. It's okay. Because we could talk about your family, your dad. No, 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 no. It's, it's cool. But I like these questions <laughs> because you can Google. There's a great article about you in the Trumpet Guild. Oh, yeah. And um, if you if you Google that, someone can maybe find the link. You, it tells you all about Gabor's you know life and how he became a trumpet player and your dad and playing at weddings and yeah, yeah, yeah. things. So I'd like to take lots of these no, questions no, from okay. the people watching. Um, George Nakatsi, I hope I said that right, in Damascus says, "What mouthpiece do you use the most? And do you change a lot the mouthpieces during a concert?" Good question. Thanks, George. Mm, what is that? I play uh, uh, Yamaha. 15E4 mit uh, Breselmeier Riem. Breselmeier? Ist das Breselmeier. Der Rand ist Bresel Rim. Riem. Rim. Rim. Mine will, I can't unscrew my rim. And uh, I play there. every mouthpiece with the same rim. That's very important. Every mouthpiece with the same rim. I would do that, but I can't get the rim off. So <laughs> I play the piccolo also with the same uh, this what? is for, for my lips why important. Is, that, is it for, for, why? Yeah, but they have the same abdruck. So, oh. he's so he gets the same feeling. Yeah, the right. same feeling. Okay. Do some people play with different rims all the time? Yeah. yeah. Is, uh, I think more people can play different rims. They don't play all so okay. like that. Okay. It's see. not everybody's way to do it, but that's the way, yeah. the way, the way he likes it. Okay. Ich habe große Zähne. He has big teeth. <laughs> und und uh, wenn ich kleinere Mundstücke nehme, dann das okay. schluckt direkt auf die Zähne. Okay, and if he takes a smaller mouthpiece, ich, then it hurts his Ich habe ein ziemlich großes Mundstück yeah. immer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's quite a big mouthpiece. And do you change? You don't? Do you change the mouthpiece uh, during a concert? Depending uh, on what instrument you're maybe playing. Maybe when we blink very deep uh, parts. Yeah. Maybe Shostakovich four of the end. We have a. A little very crazy, low, very, uh, very low, low, yeah. uh, low, low part to playing. I play with flugelhorn mouthpiece. Okay, I like it. You, I remember <laughs> um, when in our Berlin Phil Brass Ensemble, Gabo is usually like right on the outside playing all the difficult stuff. But a few times he comes and stands next to me and plays a really beautiful flugelhorn solos, like in uh, Mr. Jams and 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 Gabo. At one point in the concert, he took the flugelhorn off his mouth and he just said. Playing the flugelhorn is like a massage. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah, that? yeah. Flugelhorn to playing is in, in the big concert when you're playing many times. It's yeah. the same feeling. It's like a massage. Um, uh, oh, thank you, Christopher. You gave us the, the link to Gabo's interview. That's great. Um, uh, Wagner from Sao Paulo in Brazil. Isn't this amazing? Oh. People are watching everywhere. <laughs> Um, it says, what do you do in your free time to balance your job and your personal life? Do you have a hobby or how do you distract yourself? Only the hobbies you can talk about live. I will not do how you can talk about it. Also, when I don't play, I joke almost every second day on tour. Gabor goes jogging almost every second day on tour. He's either practicing in his room, usually next to me, or He's jogging. That's true. You jog. Yeah, a and lot. I, I, uh, ich lese sehr gern interessante Bücher und ich. Uh, books. Books and swimming. Swimming. Uh, and hanging out in with your friends from Prague <laughs> yeah, and uh, Nozze. Then. So when another thing that Gabor likes to do, um, especially when Nozze Brass are in town, you <laughs> like to play Austrian Alpine music all together in in one of the in, bar, no. in a bars here in in one of the restaurants. You get together and you play these. Austrian yeah, we we Alpine. playing one time together with, uh, with yeah. the Nozze guys. Yeah. In Nö. In Nö. This this is, is it's a, a restaurant in Berlin. Elsa's Kitchen. I know, uh, I've been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, you like, like doing that. Trumpet yeah. players are a friendly lot. Um, there's a question from Charlie, who I believe is Jakob's wife. Hello, Charlie. It's nice of you to join us. Was wolltest du werden, als du klein warst? What did you want to be when you were little? Did you want to be a trumpet player? I think yes. Uh, my brother was trumpet player. My father was also trumpet player. My great father was... Uh, was the music teacher in the small town, and uh, so I play 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 maybe trumpet with four or five. Yeah. And then my father think uh, for me is clarinet the best, where we have a family uh, capella. Family trumpet best. ensemble. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we have uh, oh, Hochzeiten gespielt. Yeah. You play the we clarinet. Have clarinet. I I learn one year long clarinet. Two years long uh, piano, 
and then uh, with 10, 11, I beginning to, to learn trumpet. What did you think of the clarinet? Clarinet was for me a little too difficult. Difficult? <laughs> <laughs> you think it was too difficult? I have no good feeling with no. the clarinet. <laughs> too many, too many fingers. Too, 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 feel alone. <laughs> <laughs> too many holes, he said. Too many holes. <laughs> Okay, so you but you so you didn't want to be a, a, a trumpet player, a, a clarinet player, but did you want to be a truck driver or a train driver or a ich, ich habe glaube ich auch die Trompete person? spielen yeah. kein Talent zum irgendwas. Gabor just said he has no <laughs> talent apart from um, playing the trumpet. I don't believe that. <laughs> Beer drinking. Oh, did I say that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> aber, aber das muss man nicht lernen. Und Nein. davon kann man auch nicht okay. leben. Ja, okay, davon. <laughs> you can't make a living as a beer drinker. He's absolutely right. Well, I don't know about that. Um, there are some great tweets coming in. Thank you. I don't have time to look at them all right now. I, they, they pop up here on my screen so I can see them. But tweet us some photos of where you're watching from and with, with Gabor in the background or with our beautiful Gabor pumpkin for Halloween. Um, because oh. we, you, Gabor gets to see these all afterwards. I give him the copy of the chat and... Uh, and I don't know if I'm going to, I think I'm going to keep that because I think we're going to put a, a horn in his mouth. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Actually, is it burning? Hmm. I think. Ah. Gonna, yeah, never mind. I think we're going to set, we're going to set the Philharmonia on fire in a moment. Um, so how are we doing? Um, Gabos, uh, Lee in Maine says you should find a choir. You have a beautiful voice. Well, because you're going, ah. Ah. Ah, that's okay. the microphone. Yeah, that's the microphones. <laughs> it's the microphones belong to the digital concert hall. Um, uh, I have a question from uh, from Pierre Serasi saying, could you demonstrate the Chargal vent holes? What's that? I don't uh, know. Uh, that's the new the new ventils. Ventil vent holes, ventils. Yeah, are they new. Um, also, I spiele mit modellen. Jetzt von Schager, wo sie noch nicht die eigenen Ventile benutzt haben, sondern von Teambauer. Okay, from who? Teambauer. Okay, he's Team using Bauer. trumpets from Schager, where the, 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 it's not Schager's own vent. Ven, uh, nicht die selbst uh, Not the homemade uh, um, rotary valves, yes. but the um, from. Teambauer. <laughs> Aber uh, jetzt, now in, 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 the, in, the, in the new trumpets. We uh, try the, the, the homemade uh, valve from Schager and this is the, the same quality and, and, and this is a very nice sound. Yeah, okay, it's a very nice sound. Good, sorry, I was just watching. Um, Appy Water said, can you example your routine warm up? Appy Water, you'll have to watch the Hangout when, when we put it on YouTube because Gab already did that about half an hour ago. Uh -huh. um, so oh, you can do it again. Uh -huh. um, People want to know about the, the pistons uh, versus the rotary. How do you decide in the orchestra what trumpet to play what on? What is the tradition in the Berlin Phil and how do you decide? Naja, I think in Berlin is the tradition uh, with Reventil to play. We play eigentlich alles. Yeah, every, with, actually, with they play everything with rotary, rotary valves. Am I saying that Nur right? Letztes Jahr haben wir erstmal uh, Gershwin. Uh, Porgen Bess und Bernstein West Side Story Suite mit, uh, mit Pumpen gespielt. Okay. Also mit Piston. Okay, that was uh, Porgen Bess and, and a West Side Story and also okay. that late night concert. Late night did concert. With uh, Nazarino and the. Ja, ich glaube, das, ver, yeah. das passt viel besser. Then they needed für, the für Bernstein, bus. Gershwin mm -hmm. und, und, und für, für Big Ben Sachen mm -hmm. sowieso. Mm -hmm. Und ich glaube, wir sind jetzt eine Gruppe. Uh, mit, uh, mit, uh, You're a very German mm, group, huh? Mit, uh, <laughs> the, the said his, his section two is Hungarian, uh, one Austrian, uh, one French, French and uh, one German, German Martin. <laughs> ich glaube, vor 30 Jahren hat keiner von den Trompeten ein, ein, ein Piston-Trompete besetzt. 30 years also, ago, they, not even, they didn't even have the trumpets, the piston trumpets. Und jetzt haben wir eine ein, ein, ein Gruppe, wo, wo alle schon vertraut sind. Now, Mehr vertraut sind. Now everybody in the section has actually, though at least they know how to play so, them. Wir yeah. können dann diese, uh, yeah. diese Gershwin und, und Stein Sachen mit, mit uh, Piston spielen. Yeah, okay, so the, the, it's just being flexible. I mean, it's. Uh, yeah. um, and, and who, Aber das ist die who do the. That, that, that's the, tradi the tradition yeah. is on the rotary trumpets. And I mean, even in America now, you remember in Chicago Symphony, and they, they, they're starting to play on the, the German repertoire on the German. Yeah. Ich glaube, das kommt immer mehr. Yeah. Auch, auch immer yeah. Im Ungarn zum Beispiel spielen sie fast alles. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, there's, uh, where was that? Yeah, Pierre just wrote back the keys for A, B flat and high C. Was this stuff? Oh, that's is of the C trumpet. Okay. Uh, <coughs> A Chargo trumpet. We have again. the, the uh, for, for a better intonation, have we these, that's in the keys. Uh, but oh, that's have it's not zwei. Okay, mm. to get a be better intonation, there's these yeah. trigger keys on it. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <is> <laughs> so schwer. This, this guy is just. But that is for C and that is for A. But actually, is that also for G? But would you play? That is A C S. Yeah. Das ist Das ist A, C und E. Jetzt kannst du hier. Yay, it's for a note. Yay. B, D, F spielen. Okay. But, Aber but this, these help you get the notes. And, but it's only on the C trumpet. There's nothing for that on the B flat trumpet. Du kannst es auch auf die, auf oh, die B can haben. It. Okay, you du, can put it on the B. Okay. Ich habe keine. Okay. Aber das sind die. Okay. Okay, thank you. That was a good. That was a good question. Um, we have a little bit of the problem that we are going out of time. Um, I think we're going to have to do a, a second, a second hangout because there are just so many questions for you. Um, uh, uh, oh, that's funny. We just mentioned Nazareno. And oh. Gonzalo Grau is watching, and he was actually the arranger. Ah. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi. We were just talking about <laughs> your piece. It's funny that you're uh, you got up very early this morning. Well done. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, the pistons and uh, Nazarene needs pistons and heavy lifting. And Gabor was amazing. There you go. Oh, you were. <laughs> Thank you. You were. You were. Um, so uh, yeah, Rodri. Hello, Rodri. Anyone else getting deafened by the trumpet? Very funny. Well, think of how I feel here, <laughs> Gabor. I am, I admire you so much. You are incredible. You sit in the hottest seat in the orchestra. You and Stefan Dor, I think, have the two hottest seats in the orchestra. Um, the highest the <laughs> sit, and it just it just always works. I know a lot of hard work goes into that. I know how much you work. You practice and you work a lot of the time. What would be if you were going to give advice to all the students watching? Um, your most important, the Garbo, the Tarkovi Garbor, uh, most important tips for trumpet and life. From Peter Unterslin. So, uh, in the stressigste moment, uh, hilft auch die Musik. Man, 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 man denkt an die Musik und auf seine Aufgabe. Man muss das vereinfachen. Man muss das so einfachen, wie es nur geht. Gabor says, in the most stressful moments, the, your best help is the music. You have to simplify everything and get it away from all these outside distractions, get it back to the music and make it simple, and that's what helps. Und diese Konzentration kann man üben, zu Hause auch allein. You can practice this concentration at home alone. How? Wenn ich fünfte Male spiele, ich spiele drei, vier Tage, jeden Tag einmal die Sinfonie durch. Ich sitze mich hin, Und denke mir, okay, es geht alles, alles raus, live. If, if Gabor is going to play f uh, Mahler 5, then he sits at home five days before, five days before, a week before, and plays every day, he plays the symphony all the way through, with no distractions, ja. with, with the, the part. Manchmal nicht das Ganze, yeah. aber, aber zweimal spiele ich das hier durch, zu wissen, yeah. wie mein Ansatz to know, ist, to know how he feels. und yeah. was sind die schwierigen Stücke. And where are the most difficult Natürlich, ich, ich spiele das durch ohne Pausen. Yeah. Also, yeah, he doesn't sit there and count all the rest. So you don't, you don't wait for the for the slow movement with the strings. Yeah, yeah. also Zarathustra, I wait for the 20 minutes. No, no. <laughs> also, das, uh, das ist, glaube ich, sehr wichtig, dass man eine gute Beziehung mit der Musik hat. It's very important to have a good relationship to, to the music. It's not only about the technique. Aber it's... Trompete ist ein ganz, uh, ganz schwieriges Instrument. Wenn man zum Beispiel nicht das optimale Vorbereitung trifft, also wenn der Ambassur nicht so gut trainiert ist. Trumpet is of course a very dangerous instrument if, you're not, if you don't feel quite prepared and if your Ambassur is not feeling its best that day. Das kann ganz schnell klingen wie bei einem Dilettant. It can really sound sometimes wenn, like a dilettant, wenn, quite horrible. Yeah. Wenn ich drei Tage nicht übe, dann, dann klingt das wie... If he doesn't practice for three also, days, keiner würde mich erkennen. no one would recognize him. I'm not quite sure if that's true, but, uh, <laughs> but that's also, I glaube, diese Vorbereitung ist auch wichtig, weil wenn man die Vorbereitung nicht trifft, also das tägliche Übung, 
dann kann man noch so viel auf die Musik denken, yeah. sie wird nicht helfen, weil man einen schlechten Ansatz This hat. This is the other side of it, of course, to concentrate on the music side, um, but if you aren't if you aren't prepared, and I, Gabo prepares like really practically nobody else I know, and, and you can hear it in his playing, I think. I'm not translating, that's just my opinion. Um, but he says, if you're not prepared and if you haven't put the hours in, then uh, being, being as involved in the music as you want doesn't help. You still got to get the notes. <laughs> Deshalb, die tägliche Übungen, yeah. was wir am Anfang geredet yeah. haben, uh, sind sehr wichtig. The, the exercises that we talked about at the beginning of the hangout are just really so important. They're not only just important, they're essential. These aren't, uh, yeah. No, yeah, that's is the, yeah. Yeah. Well, Gabor, there are a lot, a lot of people. You're going to read this and you're going to <laughs> be amazed. If, if you have any more messages for Gabor, please um, write in and, and tell us. And I, he will get, the, get the, the chat later on today. If you have some more selfies of where you're all... Oh, look! Look, that's the New York Philharmonic. Ah. Is this so schön? Like, that's the New York Philharmonic oh. warming up in the horn section. That's really great. Thank you, you guys. Keep tweeting the photos. I'm going to have a look at that. And um, Gabor, thank you so much for coming on the Hangout. We're not quite finished yet. Oh. Tomorrow is Halloween, right? In Australia, it's actually already Halloween today. So Tim and Aiden, are you sitting there in your Halloween costumes? Um, and I have a few challenges for you. <laughs> so I have, first of all, first of all, we have, I want to know if it's possible to play with these teeth. Und geht das nach unten? Ja, yeah. oh, das ist nach unten. Oder das ja. ist nach oben. Here, no, that's oben. Here, you put those ones on. Aha. <laughs> Get your screenshots uh, in ready. Uh, can, you, so? can you play with that? <laughs> I don't need... And because you look so weird, I'm going to make myself look even weirder. So, uh, this is my offer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sitting here with a with a with a spider on my head all by myself. I hate to think I hate to think what's gonna happen on Facebook later on. So John Sassat even so was. Yeah? Kennst du die Geschichte von John? I don't understand a word you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> on tour. Tournee. And who had this? John Sass, John the tuba player. Ah, jo yeah, okay. He was in, uh, in, in Japan. In Japan. And we, we go with the uh, metro. With the, with the subway. With the subway. And John has the... Has the teeth in, uh, yeah. Like that. He do it, girl. That's disgusting. The manager. Yeah. Uh, Aki, I have a little for <laughs> real. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> I can't understand what he's saying, but uh, anyway, so this is this is our okay. Halloween offering for the you week. You can't play. I can offer. You can't play. Okay. Well. Um, uh, yeah. Well, we'll just smile at the camera. Yeah, can. You can play with one of them in. Okay. Well, oh, the teeth are very wichtig. See, that's the, the other thing. Important. The the teeth are very important. Make sure you go to a dentist. We. <laughs> <laughs> we like to finish the hangouts on a nice note. So, um, from our little, from our little Gabor, Gabor, ah. from our little Gabor, Jack o' Lantern, our little, our little spider, we say goodbye. Are you gonna play us out? See you next time on the Horn Hangouts. Gabor plays. <laughs>